Hi, it's Greg Cohen from Cressa, back with a new 30-day market report on what's been happening in the New York City office leasing market. First, we're going to go through the numbers. Then, we're going to go through the big deal signed. And third, we're going to go through the newest ideas in the sublease market that I think will be great opportunities for you. First, the numbers. If you missed the headlines this month, all-time highs in office leasing rents in New York City. That's a little misleading because it's being thrown off by new developments like one Vanderbilt, 425 Park, and the Farley Post Office that are seeing leasing rents north of $100 per square foot. Speaking of new developments, there's 8 million square feet of office space being built currently in New York City. For context, that's about 2% of the overall market with 450 million square feet. Most of that development's happening on the far west side. Behind that is another 16 million square feet of development in the pipeline. Second, let's talk deals. Over the last 30 days, multiple 100,000 square foot leases have been signed in New York City, as well as the intention for taking similar space. First, IBM. They're apparently on the lookout for 500,000 square feet as they consolidate offices in New York City. Two, the FANG companies. Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google are all on the lookout for 100,000 plus square feet in Hudson Yards. Third, Uber. They've taken six floors at Three World Trade Center, equaling 300,000 square feet. Fourth, LinkedIn continues to expand their presence at the Empire State Building, taking an additional 125,000 square feet, which makes their presence there half a million square feet. And finally, fifth, You've got Cravath, Swain & Moore, the law firm just across the street at 825 8th Avenue, who's announced in the mid-2020s they'll be moving to Hudson Yards. And finally, you know my favorite, sublease ideas. There are three that came out this month that I think are extreme value. First, L3 Harris at 600 3rd Avenue, that's l ls building, is trying to sublease multiple floors up in the tower for mid-50s per square foot that's easily $25 less than direct deals in the building. Second, if you're a family office or a hedge fund or a private equity firm, you're gonna love this space at 655 Madison. It's a full floor from a private equity firm that's moving south, and a deal can be done in the 70s per square foot. That's in a building where deals are done north of $100 a square foot. And then finally, if you're looking for space around Grand Central, look no further than 99 Park Avenue. There's a deal for a full floor with perimeter offices and good open space in the middle where the deal can be done in the 50s per square foot. That's easily 30% less than direct deals in the building. So that's it from me, Greg Cohen at Cressa, with your latest 30-day market report. You can do me a favor, hit subscribe down below. And if you have any comments of what you'd like to see next time, just leave them in the comments. See you soon.